Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be talking about color replacement in the Job Composer in Ergosoft. So, Mike, let's say that my customer sends me files with CMYK color values. The practical issue is that the CMYK recipe on my printing system does not match the design intent of their files. How can we use Ergosoft to apply a color replacement that will ensure that we can match the design intent with our output? Sure, good question. Um, so here's an image. It has uh, four CMYK colors on it. And pretend this is an image maybe that your customer sent you, right? So if you want to replace these four colors, but you know that you have to replace them with your colors that you've created because you know that your color mixes are accurate, this is how you would do it. Uh, with the image selected on the right side in the properties panel, go to replace CMYK colors and um, hit show colors and it'll pop up the four colors. There's only four colors in this image. If you had 12 colors, it would show you all 12. Um, so from here, you can replace these colors with whatever other option you have. There's four options. We have color picker, swatch books, name colors, and measure. Real quick, we're going to jump into the color picker. It is literally just picking whatever color you want. So with the black color here selected, if I wanted to replace it with a different color, I could do that. Let's just say this color right here is perfect. Um, and hit apply. And it's that simple for using the color picker, right? You just pick your color, you apply it, and it gives you this little icon next to your color to show you that it's replaced. And let's jump into the gray color. Uh, let's go to swatch books. For the gray color, we'll just replace it with Ergosoft gray. So like you mentioned, I know that these five Ergosoft colors are perfect for my printer. So if they want a nice Ergosoft gray. I'm going to re replace it with my gray. So then you just select on your color, you hit apply, and you see it's replaced on the side over here. Okay, and quick note, that is a swatch book color. So that color value from CMYK is now being replaced with an LAB color value. Correct. Okay, thanks. Sure. Uh, I'm going to do the green one as well. So you just select your color you want to replace, pick the color you want to replace it with, and hit apply. So there we go. So there we have three colors replaced. Uh, I'm going to do the red one from named colors. So named colors uh, is the same process. You just click on the named colors icon, select, select your color. There we go. Sorry. Choose your replacement and hit, and hit apply. And that is replacing it with a CMYK value. Yeah. So named colors in Ergosoft are CMYK, swatch books are LAB. So in this case, the customer CMYK doesn't match. We are just applying a known CMYK value in our name color library. Exactly. Okay. And the name colors allow you um, to do, you know, like very fine adjustments. So it just depends on what you want to replace it with. But as you can see here on the bottom left, the swatch book has LEB values. And in the name colors in the middle, you have your CMYK mix. So yes, they are um, different mixes of ink and color being replaced all in one file. So we have uh, color picker replacement, swatch book replacement, and name color replacement in here. Uh, so I'm going to hit apply. If you watch the image, you'll see once I hit apply, it'll replace the colors. And now the gray is a lighter gray. I replaced the black, the green, and the red all with their own corresponding color that I knew I needed to replace it with. Now, if you had to do that 100 times a day, that would be kind of tedious, right? So you can actually save your uh, uh, settings here, your replacements. Um, so we're in uh, CMYK color replacement. And on the top, you have color replacement preset. So if we hit the plus new, what this is going to do is take what we already created here and import it into your preset. And it tells you, you know, you can look through this if you want, but basically, it has your replacements that you've done already. So you can just hit OK. And what you're doing is you're saving your replacements as a preset. So I'm going to call this uh, CMYK preset. Make it capital. There we go. 
So now you see here on the top, it says CMYK preset. So for instance, if I import an image, same image, I can go to the drop down menu for my presets, select my preset that I just created, hit apply. And now you can see it, re it replaced it and it looks just like I did before. So from now on, you can import an image, select your preset and just hit apply and you're good to go. Okay, well, that's very useful. Now, is there any way that we can make this process even more automated so that we don't even have to interact with the properties and actions menu? Uh, yes, you can. You can do an, uh, an image preset, which will allow you to apply the CMYK preset to it. So let me show you that. Uh, here's your image presets on the top here. This button here is new image preset. We'll cl click that button and go down to color replacements and we'll go to CMYK. Uh, you have to enable it as uh, just being active, and then we can choose our CMYK preset. As you can see, it's the same colors, um, you know, the, the gray, black, red, and green. The bottom one is just blank. It's just a placeholder for if you wanted to add a new one. But all we have to do is right there, just apply that preset, hit OK, and we have to give this. So now this is an image preset. We're going to call this um, Mike. Mike CMYK preset. For instance, if you had five customers that all sent you different artwork, you could give them their own image preset. So whenever you're doing artwork for a certain customer, you can use a certain preset. Um, that's what that is really helpful to be, have that option. Um, so now if we import the same image, you can see it, al it already applied the, the image preset and the color replacement preset just by importing it with this preset selected. Excellent. So in theory, if we had multiple variations of color replacements that we want to apply for a file, uh, we can just select a image preset and that way any job that gets pulled in with that image preset, it's automatically applied. Correct. Okay, so that's a much more efficient way to do things if we want to uh, utilize one preset at volume. Yeah, exactly. That's great. Yep. Well, I think that does it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone, and please contact us if you have any questions.